It is a land that celebrates its many faces. From cities that reach from sea to sky, to wilderness that man has yet to conquer. A forest that blankets one of the world's last mysterious realms. This is a place where natural wonders are cheered on, and man-made ones invite you in. This is Brazil. For the first time, the Olympics are coming to South America, and Rio de Janeiro is hosting the party. A city on the southeast shore of the country, it's one of Brazil's most iconic locales, boasting views unlike anywhere else in the world. And a unique culture shaped by its diverse history. The six million natives of Rio, also known as Cariocas, take the celebration of life to new heights. And while significant problems have grabbed headlines, the International Olympic Committee is sounding the alarm. The city's spirit will clue you in to its readiness. An Olympics demands a spectacle, and Rio will certainly deliver. I am so excited to experience Rio. It has such a reputation for just being so fun, so bright. And to have an Olympics there, especially, like as if the Olympics wasn't bright enough, I think it's the perfect combination, and I'm so excited to see what Rio does with it. It's just such a different part of the world. It's a different culture. Being able to be in a village with every other country, you know, and experience the Olympics, the mecca of sports. No one has one more! I mean, I don't know if it really gets much better than that for me. The bulk of the venues for these games are divided into four clusters. One zone will be found in the most popular destination in the city. Copacabana will put on several sports, including the beach volleyball tournament, sure to be hard fought and well attended. Beach volleyball in Brazil is something so special. It's truly an event and you can feel the energy, you can feel the passion, and I want to go there and, and put on a great show for them. In the Maracanã cluster, spectators will find perhaps the most famous soccer stadium in the world. It will host the opening and closing ceremonies, as well as both the men's and women's soccer finals, where the U.S. women look to extend their reign with a fourth consecutive gold medal, as the Brazilian men seek redemption after the embarrassment at home in the 2014 World Cup. At the Samba Dromo, home of Rio's Carnival Parade, archery will be contested and the marathon will start and end between its historic bleachers. And the return of some of the game's biggest stars will take place at Olympic Stadium, site of the track and field competition. Phoenix gets her gold! The Olympic Park, a recent addition to the city, will be found in the Baja Zone. Here, 15 sports will take place, including tennis, gymnastics, and swimming. She's ahead of the line right now! Baja will also be the home of golf's return to the Olympics after more than 100 years. I ended up hearing about golf coming to the Olympics a couple years back and made it a huge goal of mine to try and get onto that team to walk the opening ceremonies, carry the flag, and you know, epitomize playing for your country. Another recent addition to the games, Rugby Sevens, will share a stage with shooting events in nearby Deodoro. Rugby Sevens just has less people. It's a bit more free-flowing and exciting. It forces you to work together. It's, it's a really awesome sport to watch, and I think it's easy to follow and easy to get excited about. Sports familiar and new will make their way to the first games in South America this summer where the world's best athletes will look to defend their titles. And he's still the king of a hundred. And break through on an Olympic stage. Oh my God. Celebrations will abound for 17 days in this marvelous city. Celebrations of nationhood, of sportsmanship, One, and of course, of victory.